entitled a Sadiq al Amin, the honest and upright. He came at a time when people were burying their daughters alive. The savior and liberator of all of women's rights. He was the best husband to his wife, the best friend to his tribe, the best leader to lead a nation of might. He was the most equal to his people, no matter you black or you white. He's the freer of the slaves, so go ahead and talk as you like. Bilal ibn Rabah, the first black man to enter Islam into Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was ready to give up his life. Why? He was a man of truth and a man of justice. A man of humility, yet a man of toughness. A man of mercy. Just look at the city of Tartif. Pelted and stoned as he preached alone. Heartbroken and cold, bruised bones and blood soaked shoes. Yet he just moved on and prayed to his Lord. Oh Lord, as long as you're pleased with me. It doesn't matter at all until Angel Gabriel descended and declared, Give me one word. And I flipped these homes. He said, No. Just hold on, despite everything they did to me, I'ma just let it go. For the land may one day breed some sweet believing souls. So you still wanna know why we love him more than we love our own. An orphan since birth, yet he was still strict in obedience to the mother. Heaven is under her feet, so be good and be sure to love her. And no, you're not a Muslim unless you love for yourself what you love for each other. Do not waste water, even if you're at a running stream. And even if you're at war, do not hurt the plants and the trees. A lover of the environment, so much so a tree shed tears once he no longer needed it to lean. A lady was never forgiven because a kitten she failed to feed. Animals would rush to him because of how he treats inequity. Birds would flock over him whenever they would see. Cause they could see he's a man of morality and virtue. Taught humans how to be humans and to have patience on those who hurt you. For of course the soul of mercy is better than a soul that's revengeful. Have mercy in the lands and he in the heavens won't ever desert you. Rank number one in Michael Hart's most influential. Feed the hungry. Visit the sick and make sure you free the captives. These are the wise words that I've captured from the one who accepted every being, no matter how bad his past is, because pride is for the jahils, those who are ignorant and backwards. So go ahead and do what you do best and let the haters keep hating while you're busy drawing and painting, burning and making films that are desecrating the concept of art. How dare you disgrace it? Take your film and just break it. Matter of fact, just erase it. You waste the space as you hide inside and try to escape it. You knew what you were doing, just grow up and just face it. You better just pray that we as patient as the one you portrayed in an image that's not true but a figment of your imagination. And know you're not free from fault because it was you who created and sparked the result in destruction and devastation. Cause there's freedom of speech but there's not freedom of hatred to a man who cried every night for the sake of humanity. Ummati, Ummati, fearing the day with a face reality When we're all brought forward to our Lord with no idea what is happening A day where no friend can help you, nor a sibling to his family A day where they appear drunk and overtaken by insanity This is crazy, it's a catastrophe The sun is close to my face, I can feel its gravity All the people rushed to Adam, Noah, Moses and Ibrahim and Finally go to Jesus But Jesus says that I'm afraid that God is mad at me They took me as a Lord I have no idea what's going to happen to me Go to Muhammad Peace and blessings of Allah be upon he For the second he intercedes And prostrates to his Lord His Lord commands him to speak He doesn't raise his head until he screams Please leave everybody who believes even if it was an atom or a mustard seed 
And yes, his prayers are answered, for they are guaranteed. So don't ask me again why I love him more than I love me. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.